Hey Leo, welcome to your May of 2019 Sidereal Astrology Forecast. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about all of the major events that I feel like are important for your sign. And if you do look down here at the chart, you will notice that the signs are different sizes. And this is different from mainstream astrology um, because we are using the actual visible sky, the actual visible constellations. So uh, the signs will change. You will notice the signs are different. So if you are new to this, it's called True Sidereal Astrology. And there is a link down below uh, for more information on this. All right, so uh, Leo, let's go and take a look here at the beginning of the month around the 4th and 5th, we have a new moon. And so things sort of just start get, uh, they just get kickstarted right away here at the beginning of the month. However, this is the lowest energy of the lunar cycle. So it's good to take note of that, that although there's some new beginnings here, right at the beginning, it's gonna, they're gonna be slowly developing as we go through the month. So this is new beginnings in your ninth house. The ninth house is essentially about the things that expand our horizons. So fundamentally, this could be new beginnings with your perspective of life, your belief systems, what inspires you, for some of you, your life path, because the life path is about listening to that spirit for life, right? But external things could be things like travel for some of you, others may be getting into new uh, philosophies or spiritual um, ideas. Um, again, things that either expand your mind or quite expand you quite literally um, with this new moon. So sit with it, set some intentions with it. We'll see what shapes up with this area as the month unfolds. Now, also on the 4th and 5th, Mars is going to be opposite up to Jupiter. <clears throat> and this is going to be, um, for all of us, maybe a bit of confidence or inspiration. For you, it could be in the sector that has to do with your career and your public image. Because coming from last month, it's still a great first half of this month to put energy and drive into your career or into achievement, into success, these kind of future, you know, big picture kind of things. So by all means do this, this opposition is going to help you cultivate that. While at the same time though, Jupiter this year, this whole year has been transiting your fourth house of home or of family or of health. These are the common things of the fourth house, but essentially the area that has to do with emotional security. So it's a great time to also maybe feel a bit inspired about where you live or um, you know, expanding those horizons there with that, or maybe regarding family, or maybe regarding your health in some way. So the key will be balance, as all oppositions are about. And so the balance will be between that side of yourself that is motivated and driven towards the career and future productive stuff, or public stuff, and balancing that with the home stuff. <clears throat> you know, spending plenty of time in your private life or cultivating whatever these opportunities might be involving these home, family, or health matters. It's really the balance between the public life and the private life, or career and home, you know, these kinds of things. And by doing that, I think you'll find this to be a very constructive uh, transit. Again, there's confidence, there's inspiration. It's an awesome transit to work with. So that's the fourth and fifth. Once we get to the eighth, we do have Mercury passing over Uranus in that ninth house. So in this sense, I think there'll be some developments regarding, again, this expanding of your horizons. Now, what's very important about this is that last month in April is when Uranus came in here for good. And so this is an energy that's in a very large picture sense, really the next like uh, five years of your life, four or five years. And with uh, Mercury now activating this, there could be maybe some new ideas about, again, you expanding your horizons, uh, maybe about travel, maybe about philosophy, your beliefs about life, your inspirations, right? And it's just good to think outside the box here. You know, what's outside your comfort zone? Think about it, disrupt it, disrupt your perspective on things, your beliefs, and you'll likely find that that further helps expand those horizons and again, may help you further develop that area. All right, so fast forward to the middle of the month because like I said, there will be that um, emphasis the first half on the motivation with the career and public stuff. And there still will be because on the 15th, the sun does transit into the fifth. So there will be a continuous focus on this going into June. And so by all means, yes, focus on the career, public, productive stuff. That will be your energy life force. And you'll just notice a lot of themes regarding it because after all, the sun is your ruler, the ruler in the 10th. Your energy levels will likely be quite good um, throughout this whole month, but especially as the month unfolds. 
Now, with that being said, Mars is going to leave the 10th house and go into the 11th house. So there could also be motivation drive towards specifically the income you derive from your career, which is great. So again, great to put motivation and drive into that. Now, it's also the area that has to do with your future ideals. You may even find quite you're being quite motivated to cultivate some of your future hopes and wishes. Great to do that as well. And then also the 11th house could be about groups and your community or your friends um, and maybe even technological stuff. But this kind of group related, future related stuff, really good to put that drive into also. Second half of the month going into June. All right. And then on the 18th, we do then have Venus leaving the 8th house and going over Uranus. So this is also significant because Venus will be the last planet to leave your 8th because for most of April, there was a lot of concentration in the 8th that has to do with transformation. It has to do with deeper diving and deeper values and shared resources. But there will likely be finalization involving this area as the month unfolds. And the final one will be when Venus leaves here around the 16th to the 18th. Um, you know, final developments with that self-empowerment, essentially transformation where a lot of that emphasis was. Now, of course, where she's going is into the ninth house. So 18th onwards, seeing the value of expanding your horizons, the enjoyments, maybe even some of you forming some new relationships or something in this context in some way, or enjoying connections about philosophy and discussing higher perspectives, you know, wisdom, sharing wisdom, gaining wisdom, enjoying this process both personally and interpersonally with this conjunction. And again, it could be exciting and new and different since we are talking about Uranus. But also on the 18th, we do have a full moon and this is gonna be in your third house. So while this more expansive, expansive stuff's going on, there's gonna be a full moon in your practical sector. So it'll be a great time to do a status check with more of the things that have to do with like communication and the things in your more immediate environment, whatever that might be in contrast to the more further stuff going on. And uh, things like just learning. Uh, there could even be just a great awareness in terms of what you've learned. And if there is anything from over the past six months that you started learning, uh, course, read a book, studying, maybe done some writing yourself or something involving communication in some way, uh, this stuff is coming to the heightened part of the cycle. So it'll be great to harvest some of these things, but also just do a status check and see how is that practical, communicative, and also willingness to learn and exchange with others kind of energy is in your life. All right, and then the last thing here this month uh, that's I feel like important is Mercury is going to pass over your ruler of the sun in your 10th house. So this could just be, again, another step in the right direction involving the career or productive stuff. But in this case, maybe some ideas. Um, you could be feeling, again, particularly practical here. You can be implementing some of this practical energy into um, you know, your work, your career, your public sector to help further develop it, essentially. Maybe even doing things involving like communication or writing or learning or teaching or something mercurial like that in that sector. All right, so Leo, have a fantastic May. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to click that like button if you found this video helpful. And I will see you all next time for the next video. Take care.